Modern Warfare 3 players, if you are struggling with the 10 finishing move challenge, I got you. This is the video for you. I'm going to go over what the heck it is, how to do it, and how to do this as fast as possible. Because honestly, this challenge is like low key, super hard. But after this video, I'm sure it's going to be a lot easier for you. All right, pay attention how to do a finishing move starting off easy. You have to knife them from behind. But even more importantly, you have to hold down your melee button. So for me, I play default on controller. So I have to actually hold down my right stick. If you play tactical, you hold down your B button. If you're a keyboard and mouse, you hold down your melee key, okay? But the thing is, you have to do it from behind. So the enemy has to be facing the opposite way, as I just showed you. Now, something super important to discuss, so let's pay attention here. So first of all, you can change your finishing move in the operators tab. Now, this is actually super important because some of these actually take super, super long to complete and actually register the kill. Now that is a problem because when you were doing your finishing move, as I'm showing on screen, hopefully right now, there are actually differences in the timing of when the kill registers. So you want the fastest finishing move possible. Now, some of you are going to say that doesn't matter, Crow Show. Who cares? Right? I want you to look at these clips, right? This is a super long animation. My teammate takes my kill. I'm like, seriously, bro, watch this one. Okay, so we're on rundown. I'm flanking behind and I'm like, okay, I'm going to get this one. This one's going to be free. No, I died. Granted, I probably would have died there anyway, but look at this one. This one's crazy. I'm like so close to getting them, but I die. So hopefully you agree now that the timing and how fast the finishing move is actually matters. So on that note, the fastest finishing move is the get wrecked finishing move. You can get that from the warrior pack bundle. But if you do not spend money on bundles like me, the second fastest one is the neck trauma finishing move right here. I found a nice spreadsheet from some nice guy on Reddit. So thank you, whoever that is. I will link it in the description below. Now, other than that, make sure you equip that finishing move to both operators because there's two separate teams. All right, with all that information, let's talk strategy, how to do this as fast as possible. We are going to play 6v6 regular game mode, but we're going to filter it so it's just hard point domination and control because those are objective-based game modes where they have set spawns and we can run behind them. All right, everyone, from here on out, the best advice I can give you is think like a ninja, okay? Have you a V equipped? Try and get them. Be stealthy. Run through buildings. Think of spots where the enemy likes to jump out of. Like, this one's amazing on terminal. Use the tack and search to put yourself in those really good positions. When you're playing objective-based game modes, you want to catch the enemies camping around the objective like this one. This was literally amazing. And then I die after, right? I die. But then I spawn right behind. I'm like, I'm going to... Think like a ninja and I'm going to like get up close to my prey and then take advantage and just get another one. So think like a ninja. All right, just a few more things, guys. Stay with me. If this video has helped you, please consider liking and subscribing. I put a lot of time and effort. You guys know that. But other than that, there are certainly maps that are better than others. I think maps that have a lot of buildings that are really big that allow you to maneuver around them, get behind objectives are fantastic. So Favela, Rundown, Skidro, possibly Karachi. Terminal is pretty good. Wasteland, I don't know, maybe. Estate, no. But you really just want the big maps. Get around them. Get your kills. Use the strategy I gave you. So please let me know if this video has helped you. Okay, lastly, class up for all you class up lovers. Now this class matches exactly our play style. We want to act like a ninja. Be stealthy. This eliminates footstep sounds. Lightweight so we can get around faster. Ghost so we can be hidden from UAVs. Tack insert so we can place attack in their spawn behind the objective so we can get our finishing move kills. Throwing knife. Smoke grenade is great for, you know, cover and such. Karambit, so we can switch that and run even faster. And then MCW, just in case we have to take a long range gunfight. Now, here are the attachments. Oh, let me, uh, let me move down myself really quickly. Hold on. Yeah, there's the attachment. So if this class up you think is useful, make sure to boop that like button, take a screenshot, whatever it may be. And if you need more help on videos like this, make sure to subscribe. And I post so many how-to videos every single week for you guys for multiplayer challenges. So make sure to stick around for those. All right. Thanks, guys. And I'll see you later. Bye-bye.